am a king and I am an eternal king. I am immortal. That means I cannot die. I am deathless. And then he says, I am invisible. I'm above the natural world. By the way, that which is seen came from that which is unseen, which means that which is unseen is more real than that which is seen. And the Bible says that which is seen is temporary, but that which is unseen is what? Eternal. So put your trust in something that won't wear out. If you trust in your body, you got 70 years. I am God, and I deserve glory and honor. The word king is the word ruler, is the word malak in Hebrew, and the word in the Greek is the word basilia, which means again ruler. One who rules, one who is king is one who rules. But rulership is by qualification. Let me describe that. First Timothy, trying to chapter 6, right over the page, please. Verse 15, quickly. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 15 says, God, the blessed and the only ruler. That means everybody else is faking it, eh? Every rulership that's on this planet, every government, every authority is only there because God allows it. If he's the only ruler, and anyone who's ruling is simply receiving favor from God. He's the ultimate ruler, the only ruler. And by the way, that statement means that everyone who has authority is accountable to God. That may be a manager of a department, the parent of a family, the head of a home, a husband, a pastor of a church, a permanent secretary, anyone who has authority, a judge in the courtroom, a lawyer dealing with a case, everyone, a doctor in the hospital with a knife about to commit abortion. The Bible says, I'm the only authority. You gotta answer to me if you kill that baby. We have no power, no authority, except that we're given us by God. One of the ultimate problems man is facing 